Lesson 10 King Midas Main characters Midas, the richest king in the world Silenus, an old man Butchers, the god of the fields Scene 1 Throne room in King Midas' palace A shepherd enters leading an old man Your Majesty I found this old man wandering around in the fields he is cold and hungry. Why? It is Selenus, a friend of Bacchus. You are welcome to rest in my palace, old man. Ask for whatever you need. You will be well looked after. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am indeed honored. Your Majesty, I have enjoyed my rest in your palace. I am no longer tired and hungry. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your kindness to a poor old man. Now I must return to my own home. Ah, oh, there you are, Silenus. I have been looking for you all over, not finding you anywhere. I had given up all hope of ever seeing you again. I'm indeed overjoyed to see you alive and looking well. His Majesty, King Midas, has been very generous. He has sheltered me and fed me these past days. Midas, I cannot thank you enough. Ask for anything you like and I will grant your wish. I cannot believe my luck. Anything I want? At last... I can have as much gold as my heart desires. Lord Bacchus, you are very generous. I do have one simple wish. I'd like everything I touched to turn to gold. Everything. Very well. So it shall be. But will that make you happy, Midas? Of course, it will. It will make me the happiest man in the world. Then you may have... Your wish. Scene 2. The Palace Gardens. A wide variety of colorful flowers blooming. What a beautiful garden! What pretty colors the flowers have! But they would look even prettier if they were all gold. Let me see if Bacchus has been true to his word. They have all turned to gold. These have also turned to gold. All of you, come here. Collect every single stone and bring them to me. All turn to gold. I can hardly believe it. And all this gold belongs to me. I am the happiest and richest man alive. Scene 3. A room in the palace. I am hot and dusty. Bring me some water. I must wash. Your Majesty, scented water for washing. It has changed into golden ice. Never mind. I am hungry. Bring me some food. Your Majesty, a royal feast prepared by the palace cooks. The plate, the glass. They have turned to gold. I will enjoy eating off a golden plate. Yes, Your Majesty. It is very beautiful. The bread. It has also turned to gold. This meat is turning into a lump of gold too. I am so hungry. How can I eat? Bring me some wine instead. Your wine. It has turned to liquid gold. Is there nothing I can eat or drink? Scene 4. The Royal Gardens. I am miserable. My palace kitchens produce the finest feasts, and yet I cannot taste any of it. Speak to me, my child. Please, run, jump. Do anything you like. I have granted your wish. I have come to see if you are happy. Happy? How can I be happy? I want you to take it all back. I do not want the wish. I am hungry and thirsty. My lovely daughter is a statue in the garden. I am the unhappiest king alive. I asked you, if gold would make you happy. Gold was what you wanted. 
Now, do not complain. I know. Now it was wrong of me to love gold so much. I am truly sorry that I was so greedy. Please take back your gift. I see that you have learnt your lesson. Go to the river Pactolus and bathe in its water. The water has turned yellow after I jumped into it. What is happening? Here, let me get out and touch something. These leaves, they haven't turned to gold. They are still soft and green. The stones, they haven't changed either. Take a jug of this river water. Pour it over your daughter. She has come alive. Oh, Bacchus, I shall never again be so thoughtless and greedy.